In this video, I'm going to show you various deck lists to help give you inspiration for what you can play in Battle Spirits Saga. Most of these deck lists I'm about to show you are topping deck lists, courtesy of Eggman's website. Huge shout out to him for compiling all of these. But before we get to those, I want to help out any beginners that are watching this video who might have only starter decks to work with. So, Boom! What I'm showing you right now is a deck you can make with just two red starter decks. If you want to take a screenshot, quickly pause the video because... Boom! Here's one you can make with two purple starter decks. Here's one for just two white starter decks. And here's one for just two yellow starter decks. These lists should give you an idea of what each color is like and hopefully give you a fighting chance against other players. Now, with that out of the way, Let's talk about competitive deck lists. Starting with red, there's basically two ways you can go. Pterosaurs and Zigworm Nova. Pterosaurs is arguably the best deck in the Dawn of History meta right now, and is very straightforward when it comes to what the deck looks like. This is primarily an aggro deck that plays a bunch of spirits and tries to go face, but can play past the early game with the help of Gigano Rex. This one doesn't play the TP promo Sortosaurus, but if you have any, you can easily include it into the deck. As for Zigworm Nova, this deck has hasn't been doing nearly as well since the launch events, but is still a solid rogue deck. The game plan is to gather the three combo pieces of regular Zigworm, Zigworm Nova, and Big Bane Energy, and overwhelm your opponent with Nova's effects. This particular list happens to play Baculus to further combo with Nova to help kill more spirits with its level 2 effect. We'll now move on to purple. This one is kind of weird to talk about when pinning down different deck lists, because because they all have very similar shells. For a while, most purple decks have looked something like this. You have a bunch of solid early game cards like Beldegor, Aglovail, and Earth Spider Demon to help you control the pace of the game while you get to your main two card combo of Baculus and Curse Dragon to close it out. And this is still a solid deck today, but lately, people have been experimenting with trying to not play the two card combo. Here's an example decklist of what that might look like. It looks very similar to the previous list, but this one includes more early game spirits like Boa Trictor and Dragonaga Assassin. This deck wants to close out the game earlier and relies more on Meduk to help in the late game. Here's another purple list that shows that it can also go in an aggro direction if you so choose. This plays a lot of the cheap vanilla spirits of Demo Bones, Bone Scout, and Skullfly that you can play for for free and swing them at your opponent and take advantage of the Nexus Rotting Swamp to help retain cards. While Nemesis is only featured in this aggro list, there have been lists recently that include Nemesis in a more mid-range deck. And before we fully transition to white deck lists, allow me to show you a list that combines purple and white. This is a control list that uses the standard purple cards like Beldegore, Netherworld Depths, and the Baculus Curse Dragon combo. But it also includes white cards like Axe Biter, Enterprise, and Suppression to help it survive. If you feel like playing multiple colors, give this spicy list a shot. And now for the more standard white lists. Starting with the classic white control deck. The goal is to get through the early game with Pegasion, Bullet Ray, and Valkyrie Mist to get to your late game powerhouses of Fanatec Elk, Namon Guard, and Enterprise. One of the more infamous combos that you should be aware of when playing with or against this deck is how Fanatec Elk interacts with Ice Shield. If you lose only a single life, then use the burst effect of Ice Shield to regain that life and end the battle step, Fanatec Elk's second effect will still trigger. I explain it in more detail in my rulings video if you're curious. Another version of the white control list that's gained traction recently is this more magic heavy deck list. The idea is you rely on a more reactive game plan. With the help of Infinity Mothership, you can retain cores to play magic cards during the opposing battle step and use cards like Suppression, Regain, and Holy Elixir to surprise the opponent and kill their spirits. This is a deck that requires you to have access to multiple copies of Axe Biters though, so it might not be the most accessible deck list. But if you're fortunate to have Axe Biters, 
spiders, I highly recommend you give this deck a try. The last white deck that puts the fear of God into the hearts of players is White Aggro. This deck is very straightforward, but very effective. It plays a bunch of early game spirits, mostly vanillas, while also having access to cards like Valkyrie Mist and Dream Bomb to bounce the opponent's spirits for game-winning pushes. And if you so wish, you can even include a couple copies of Fanatec Elk as a top end to help get that last damage in. This is a deck I highly recommend to new players on a budget, because it's the deck that actively doesn't play the $20 staple Absolute Ice Shield. And finally, we move to yellow decks. The most competitive yellow list is definitely the Fabled Beast deck. This deck plays out early game stabilizers like Hippocampo, Freestall, and Air Avatar to get to its powerful endgame cards of God Beast Behemoth and Exhaust Nexus. Wonderland Alice is also a powerful, hard-to-get-rid-of spirit that constantly snipes off your opponent's spirits. Yellow also has another archetype in Luster. Unfortunately, Luster as a deck hasn't really seen competitive success, but here's a Luster deck that I created to help give you an idea of what it looks like. The game plan is to use Luster spirits like Caladrius and Mind Eye Celestial to reuse powerful magic cards like Exhaust Nexus and Angelic Pressure and overwhelm the opponent that way. And Michaela is here as a top end to let you use all of your magic cards for free. I hope this video helped you. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more Battle Spirits Saga content. Until next time, laters.